you have to roar off like Jim Clark at Silverstone? I wanted to get away sharpies in case you saw the number plate. Hmm? Well, why should she do that? I'm just a businessman who went back late to the office because he uh, forgot something. You know, your trouble is you think like a criminal. Yeah, what happens if she goes to the police? Well, she will. She'll have forgotten all about it by morning. You concentrate on your driving. You look tired this morning. I spent all night chasing jewel thieves in my sleep. Poor old dad. Never mind. I'll give you a cup of tea. Thanks. <gasps> then I've got to be off. That was my hit pick of the week. It's too late. A new entry to the charts and rising fast. That's Dale Meredith. 8.30 yes. a.m. and time for the news. Dateline, we, June 12th. Uh, switch it off now. Another robbery of gems in Diamond Center, Hatton Garden, believed to be worth more than 50,000 pounds. Manchester, yes. doctors are still shot. fighting to save the lives of the Mulberry Quads born yesterday yes. afternoon. New York. <laughs> they only get the headline. Last night, the United States would stand firm in the face of any aggression. Well, where are you after that? I have to go to the station right away. I thought you were supposed to be on holiday. This is Dale Meredith reporting. So did I. Chantels are paying a visit to us today here on Big L, your floating radio station. So stay tuned to Discs with Dale, your Dale Meredith show from 12 till 3 on Big L. And here live, the Chantels. Love, I can't remember any more than what I've told you. It was dark. If you could be a little more specific, Mrs. Uh... Edgecombe. Doreen. Mrs. Edgecombe. Well, he was military looking like, you know. Yes, you told me that. Well, he was, definitely. Nice. Was he tall? Fairly, yes. Not short? Not really, no. Medium height? I suppose you could say so. I don't want to put words into your mouth. Oh, you won't do that. Tall then or short? Let's say tall, shall we? Yes, he was. He was quite tall. Right. Now, how about his weight? Ah. Was he fat? Not really, no. Thin? Not really, no. Medium built? That's about it. Excuse me. Good morning. Hello. Have you got a witness? If you may call it that. She saw a man that wasn't tall or short or fat or thin. But it was a man. He wore trousers. It's the only thing she seemed to be certain about. Yes, I can imagine. Where did she see him? He got into a car at about 1.15 this morning as she was coming up the night shift. It looked as though he came from Bergenhardt's office. When she heard about the robbery, she went to the local police station. She didn't get the number of the car. Oh, you're joking. She doesn't even know what kind of car it was. She must have some idea. Oh, yes. Some idea. How did you describe the car, Mrs. Edgecombe? Oh, it was a nice one. Nice? That's right. You know. Nice. Are you a foreigner, too? No, no, madam. I'm a CID officer. Oh. Uh, we're liaising with the Dutch police and Interpol in this matter. I thought he had a funny accent. It's not a bit like Zed Cars, is it? No. Not at the moment. It's not a bit like Zed Cars.
Just arrived on board, so they tell me, are those sweet singing, swinging gals, the Chantelles. So let's pipe them on board, shall we, with their latest big selling disc now zooming its way up the charts. I think of you. Yes. My name's Lester Benson. Oh, yes. I believe we have a mutual friend. Yes, we do. He's asked me to give you this master tape. He thought you might like to take it back to Amsterdam with you. Oh, yes. Would you mind holding this a moment for me? The Chantel. They're good artists. It's a uh, very good sound. Mm, I'm sure of it. Thank you, Mr. Benson. Will you excuse me now? 